Hey, what is going on guys? This is Jason with Jadron Aquatics. Thanks for hanging out with me in the fish room again today. So today, we are gonna head over to uh, Patrick's house. Um, I'll link the video above if you wanna see the actual full fish room tour of Patrick's place. Patrick has a sunroom that he's built off into the back of his house, but he set his entire system up on a hydroponic system. So he's gonna explain to you, first of all, why in the world would you even want a hydroponic system unless you're growing pot? And no, he's not growing pot. He's growing a lot of different plants, but he's not growing pot. And he's gonna show you how easy it is to set up and just exactly how it works. So let's go ahead and let's head over to uh, Patrick's so he can explain to you step by step how to get this bad boy going. So if you want to do aquaponics, really all you're going to need is some type of plant that's going to take a lot of the, the waste that the fish are producing and it's going to eat it up. Pothos is great. I love pothos because it grows everywhere. Peace lily is also a good one. And really all you need is some type of container that's going to have the media, be able to pump your water to the media, and I use lava rock, but there's a bunch of other types of media out there that you can use. Uh, the piece of that I even leave those in the pots, and then it'll just grow roots and stuff. Uh, the pothos will grow roots on, by itself, so I've got it in a sump inside the house, and it's not, there's no media, it's inside the 55 gallon tank. But all you're really doing is you're using the plants to go and suck up those nutrients and that waste the fish are producing, and so it's going to filter the water and the fish feed the plants. Uh, if you want some type of smaller container, any type of plastic container or something, and plumb it so that I've even seen some of these gardening flower beds, like pots, these rectangular pots. People have put lava rocks in there and they have plants in that, and then it just drains right back in the tank. So there's just a pump that pumps water up and into those. Uh, those are easy ways to do aquaponics. If you want to do it on a, on a bigger scale, that's why I went and I did the cut IBC tote. So this filters all of these tanks. And they're all plumbed together, but it's just one pump that's taking the water from the sump up, and then I have gravity to take the water from the top level to the mid level to the bottom, and then I've got a gutter that catches the excess and brings it back to the sump. And it's one pump that's doing all of that for all of these 25 tanks or so. Okay, so you have you have two different systems. Yes. That are pretty much identical, but they're two separate systems. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And that's just so I can have a middle way to walk through the room. Otherwise, if I had more room, I'd have I. You have as many tanks as you want on it. Because again, the, these systems just themselves were designed for tilapia, catfish, trout. Big bio loads. And people would go and grow produce at the top. I'm doing aquarium fish. So the bio load is a whole lot less than what these were designed for. And they work fantastic with the aquarium fish. They're great. I mean, the fish are just happy and breeding. Um, no issues, and then I've got water trickling in from two different sources of both systems. One of it is from those IBC totes that collect rainwater. That water just trickles in over here constantly. So there's just a small pump that pumps it into both systems. And then I've also got so sort of acting as an auto top off. Auto top off. It's got a it's, well, it's got it's got a drain. Uh, that's built into the, the floor here. So it drains out, and I've got a French drain into the yard. So this, uh, the excess will drain out. But we, uh, we have that, and that's just rainwater when it rains, and if it's in the summer and it hasn't rained, I'll just throw the hose in there and fill it up. And then it'll slowly come in, uh, and it hits the grow bed first, and then to the sump, where it's got, and the grow bed itself has a bell siphon. So this floods and drains all day long, okay? But it'll go here first, and then go into the sump, and then be pumped to the tanks. And then, if you look, I've got another line. Right here, this black line. And it's just throwing water in constantly right there. Where's that line coming from? That is coming from right over the sink. And you can see that blue PEX pipe that's over the sink. There is a T right there, one of sharp T's. And all it, all it 
does, this is just a cold water line, comes right here, goes through just these three, which are just carbon, which I probably need to change, so I don't know what it's, it might not even do anything right now. Tees off, one line goes to this tank, one line goes there, and it's just shooting just that stream of water in constantly. How many gallons of water would you assume is on each side? Um, so the systems themselves, they're probably a thousand gallons each. And then water that I have probably coming in, you might, it might be probably around 30 to 50 gallons a day that's just coming into them. Yeah. And so so it's, it's sort of a water change? Kind of a water change. Um, just to make sure that everything's good, but you don't have to do as big water changes when you're doing aquaponics. Like if this wasn't running, this would all still be all right, just because I've got all these plants just sucking any of the waste up these fish are producing. So the external water, you have two sources of external water. Yes. You have one that's coming from the RO unit, uh, and then you not, have- It's not even RO, it's just carbon. Just, just carbon, okay, just carbon yeah. blocks. Yep. And then on the outside you have rainwater yep. that's coming in. Yep. So that's what's causing it to overfill and yes. then overflow yeah. out a French drain in the back. Exactly. Gotcha. Yep. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned a little bit more about hydroponics. It's a pretty cool um, setup, something I haven't ever seen in any other fish room before, but really, really cool. You guys got any questions or comments, be sure and leave them down below. So thanks again, guys, and God bless.